One of the simplest and the most common web vulnerability is IDOR. IDOR is short for Insecure Direct Object Reference. It occurs when attackers can access data that they were not supposed to access simply by modifying values in the request. This is a dangerous attack because it bypasses access control without any advanced technique. Often all it takes is a change in the URL or parameter value. In this video, we are going to be learning how to exploit this vulnerability by escalating our privilege from the guest user to the admin user. This is the neighbor CTF challenge from TryHackMe. Even though this CTF challenge is very easy, it will however help you understand how IDOR vulnerability works. So for this challenge, we can see there is a new cloud service and we can authenticate from anywhere. We have to find the other user's secret. If I scroll down, we get some more information from the description and our goal is to find a flag on the neighbor's logged in page. So I have already started my machine and got my target IP address. So if I copy my target IP address, open another tab and go to this target IP address, I can see a web login page. I do not have any username or password, but the web login page says, if you do not have an account, you can use the guest account. So if I press Ctrl plus U at the same time in my keyboard, I can see the page source with a comment saying, you can use the username guest and the password guest until registration is fixed and admin user is off the limits. So I'll type the username guest and the password guest. And now I'm logged into the guest user account. If I check the URL, I can see the user guest guest which is the object in this case is directly being referenced in the url what if i change the guest to the object admin since we already know from the page source that there is a user called admin so i'll change it to admin and press enter and i can see i'm logged into the admin account without any authentication verification and we also got the flag so i'll copy this and paste it as the answer and we were correct so this is the simplest example on how IDOR vulnerability works. That is for the end of this challenge. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kelly Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.